He looks a real prospect. Just about ready here for heat number two, 1,200 metres. They're away now. Rondino a little sluggish to begin, but he's now mustering speed under a little bit of riding, and White Marlin broke well. White Marlin goes to the lead from Vandalay Style and Duke de Sessa in the early stages of the heat. Two lengths away, Cliffsart being followed by Rondino, Panambulist. And Dream Maiden is at the back of the field. They slow down mid-trial, and it's a White Marlin bowling along in front. He leads by half a length on Duke de Sessa. A length and a half, Vandalay style, Cliffsart one out and one back. Then Fanambulus followed by Dream Maiden and Rondino on the inside is last. Coming up towards the home turn now, they've got uh, 450 metres to go. White Marlin shows the way narrowly. Keeping tabs with him, the outside was Duke de Sessa, Vandalay style coiled, coiled up behind them. And then Cliffsart in the straight, it's White Marlin being squeezed up. Duke de Sessa, Cliffsart coming after him. 200 metres to go, Duke de Sessa has sprinted to the lead, Cliffsart's up to second, it's Duke de Sessa in front, 75 metres to go, and Duke de Sessa wins from Cliffsart, photo third, Vandalay style, bobbing at White Marlin. Behind those was Rondino, Dream Maiden, and Fanambulist. Duke de Sessa for the Ma Eustace training combination, this Irish import. He looks pretty good, doesn't he? He looks pretty good. He's an end tire by Lope de Vega out of Dark Crusader. And he just out sprinted White Marlin there, even though he's got form up to 3,000 metres. He's placing a